Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everybody. We are so thrilled to be here at the 64th annual Ford Boat Sport and Travel Show. We are located in one of the just dozens of buildings that this show, the largest of its kind in the country, thanks to Renfro Productions, now in their third generation. This started back with Harry Renfro back in the 60s. Now, son Kevin and his son Mitch have continued to redefine great formats for this type of a show, including what we're doing here today. Every hour on the hour, we're bringing a wide cross section of people, personalities, uh, different features that you can come to a show like this and have one-on-one -on -one interaction uh, today. We're broadcasting uh, on YouTube, uh, the Boat Sport and Travel Show uh, YouTube page, we are on Facebook, the Wild Find Indiana guys. Adventure. If you listen to Indiana Outdoors, uh, which you can see on my shirt, I am the host of Indiana Outdoors. If you listen to Indiana Outdoors, you know Brent Wheat and his crew are here behind the scenes from Wild Indiana. This is on their uh, Facebook page. It's on the Deer Turkey Waterfowl Expo pa or Facebook page, and it's on the um, Boat Sport and Travel Show Facebook page. So all those venues today we're bringing you these types of uh, great people here at the show. I am uh, just, it's always great when you can bring the, the bread and butter, the people that are coming to this show to talk about their great products. And uh, Jason Yerger, it's nice to have you here on uh, our set today. Uh, Cajun Rods, you're over in Tackletown. And what did you call it? You're in the middle of Cajun Alley. We're we're in the aisle there here at the, the Indiana Boat Sport and Travel Show, and we call it the Cajun Mega Booth. The Cajun Mega Booth. Yeah, Mega Booth. The, the Mega Booth. So it's a pass through there between a few aisles, and it lets us kind of grab folks and say, hey, is you there guys any food over there? Oh is there any gosh, food over there? There's so much food at this show. It is it <laughs> no, is. No, I'm awesome. talking about Cajun food. Did you, that's you what know, you need to do, get we, some we a didn't bring boil any, going. Any, any of that spice out here, but we are really, really happy to be here, Brian, and thank you guys. And I, I would like to, to reiterate with the Outdoors and what you guys are doing and the relationship that you've established with Renfro Productions, what they're putting on here out, guys. Let me tell you what, it's some nasty weather out there. Come out to the show. It's a great family event. You know, if you're boats, RVs, if you're outside anything, what Renfro is doing here in Indiana, in the great state of Indiana, it's amazing. You know, and we're just so proud to be part of that, guys. Thank you. You know, it, it is a gathering place of like-minded people. It truly <laughs> yeah, is. It is. It doesn't matter what, right. you, fishing, hunting, if you're looking for a trip, it's just a gathering place of like-minded people. And I heard you talk uh, earlier, you, before we started here, about a, a private company like yourself you got 60 plus different types of custom made rods which we'll get to here shortly but you're here having to figure out where to spend time and talent and your treasure yes, why do you come to a show like this so being from Jacksonville as, you know and, and you're absolutely right with the, the the first question we always get is Cajun Rods Jacksonville we'll come back to that in a minute oh, okay I, I can cross when, that question there you off. go exactly <laughs> when when we look at the United States as a whole, okay, as far as what guys and gals are out there doing, we focus on some of the water activities. Obviously, as a fishing rod manufacturer, we pay attention to what the anglers and what the consumer is looking to do. You know, the vast majority of the industry from what we see is avid recreational discretionary purchases in the industry. And when we identify an area, we know that folks are coming out to come out to shows and consumer trade shows across the nation, and they're always looking for something a little different. What's gonna give them the edge out there? Because look, let's face it, Brian, is it costs money to get out there. It costs yeah. money, I mean, no matter what your hobby or passion is, once you get outdoors, to get out there and do what you love to do, the consumer shows are showing them through the vendors, through the manufacturers, through the innovation. That's all, That's you just described Absolutely. your company. Absolutely, the innovation that occurs, it's seen at a consumer trade show first. So as a company down in Jacksonville, when we started back in 2007, we really set a focus on how do we support the consumer? How do we support the angler out there? 
how do we build a better mousetrap? And what we looked at was raw source materials. We looked at fabrication and design and say, hey, look, we can do this right here in the United States and we can innovate and continue to innovate. So when we get back to your original question, which is why, why come to a consumer trade show? There is absolutely no better place to grab somebody who's walking down the aisle and go, hey, let me show you something because you probably haven't seen this before. And I was always that kid growing up. Maybe that's why I went in, into the engineering field, right? Is that, you know, my mom would tell me and go, no, don't touch that. Don't touch that. Man, I was that kid that was like, I, I got to touch it all, <laughs> right? So we have a lot of fun coming out. We look at every venue as a company. We have really targeted the central and the north central United States this year because we have anglers that have been purchasing online in the region for a number of years. And our schedule and show set was such that we could come out, establish physical presence, new relationships in the industry, okay, in the outdoors, Renfro Productions, Indiana dealers, distributors, look at the product lines, because if I can help an angler who's going to go out there and spend the money, right, put more fish in that boat, and I can put a smile on a kid's face because he caught his first fish. Trust me, I have three youngins. They do a lot of this, right? Yeah, I do too. We want them on the water doing a lot of this and a lot of this, right? Catching fish and being outdoors and having a good time. And we've really seen that transition in the industry. You know, we started back in 07, and this being our 10-year anniversary, the transition that I've seen for the American family has been we've all gotten back to our roots, and we've all gotten back to what we remember growing up as kids, and that was hunting and fishing. I mean, heck, I remember in high school, 30-something years ago, it was we knew what day of week it was and what season because of what we were hunting, trapping, fishing, catching. You know, you remember the days. Doing. Absolutely. Getting out and having some fun. And we're just blessed to have the opportunity to get out there and have some fun. And, and, and the best part about it is we get to meet a lot of awesome, awesome people. You know, we learn something every day. And that's really why I come out to the shows as the engineer for Cajun is I need to know, as an example, you know, if an angler's up there and they're catching smallmouth, they're on Lake St. Clair, how are they doing it? What do they want to see? What do they demand in their equipment? And that's what we're in the business of doing is providing exceptional equipment to a discriminating angler. We want them to be successful, and we want their relationship with their outdoor adventures to be successful. It sounds like you guys are kind of in the same line of business. Absolutely. You know, we're all about making memories, and I think that's what you just Absolutely. described. Yes, sir. So you, you hit on a couple of key things. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to be a 100% custom rod? So what does that mean? For the productions that we run, we made are in a, the USA. Correct, absolutely, <laughs> one hundred percent made in the USA. So, in the United States, you have a lot of what we call custom rod building, and that's where we started. From two thousand seven to two thousand nine time frame, we were a pure custom shop, and we were. What does that mean? It's it's configuring. It's the art, if you will, of designing an angler's dream fishing rod. We changed a little bit as we grew, and we took that knowledge and that design, you know, we call it left brain, right brain, and we started manufacturing the blank, right? And so not only do we design and fabricate from scratch, but we also design and fabricate what I call the core of a fishing rod. You know, what's the old adage is that, uh, there were a lot of things that a fishing rod can be, but if that actual core, if that rod blank doesn't do exactly what it's supposed to, you're gonna have problems, you're gonna have challenges. And so, as a pure custom shop, our transition to become a U.S. manufacturer, albeit a small U.S. manufacturer, is that we've now grown to 63 models of production across 63 different types of fishing rods because we've got anglers fishing rods from coast to coast, north to south. Salt water, fresh water. Absolutely. And a lot of that has to do with the componentry. You know, as a custom shop, we learned early on, early on at Cajun, that you have to selectively 
You as a manufacturer or as a custom builder, you have to design and choose the right parts and pieces for the finish work of the rod. How you tune that rod, how you balance it, all of that left brain science art that goes together. And we've taken that to a new level following 2010. And that really came with the, the engineering in a carbon fiber rod tube for an American manufactured product. And you started this in your garage. <laughs> oh, good Lord, that is, that is, a, a, that is you know, sometimes it's, it, it's a very humbling uh, to look back and go, wow. And it was all easy. Look where we, yeah, it's, it's, it's every day, you know, they, they, we joke and go, look, uh, you can do it if you've got a dream out there. And, and we started between literally an all aluminum weld fishing boat and a workbench and a rod bench. And it went from, yeah, we can do that. And then you have 25, 100. And you know, and, and the, I come back to the angler and the consumer out there is that they get two votes in this industry, okay? And it doesn't matter what item, service that they're looking at. And the votes that the angler or consumer get, they will either vote with their wallet, okay? True. And this is true. And as a manufacturer, as a reseller of our product line, supporting the U.S. Independent Main Street USA authorized dealers out there, they understand that as well. The other is they vote with their feet. And we're just so blessed to have the opportunity to partner, okay, in the industry with uh, different consumer, different distributor, different retailers out there. And we've been blessed to have the consumer voting with that wallet for the last 10 years. And, and to be honest, we, we joke with folks, you know, we, but in our, our master catalog, we use a little tagline is that we've been giving free boat rides Dang since it. 2007. I, that, you, you, took, you, exactly. you took that one right off my sheet too, because I thought that was one of the catchiest slogans I've ever seen. Yes, sir. Uh, and, and giving fish free boat rides since 2007. Well, you know, we, we've all, technology is a really important part of this industry. It truly is. I mean, right now we're, we're streaming live, right? And if I make a mistake or you make a mistake, people are going to catch it real quick. So. But, we have a very forgiving audience. Hey, I love it because we're all human, right? And when we're wrong, you got to raise the right hand and say, I'm right. wrong, you own it, and everybody moves forward, we make it better. Um, but with the technology in the industry, it's being able to leverage that technology in everything that we do and to be efficient and to be effective. And that really matters because in the world that we live in, we see a lot of... Uh, a lot of folks that have the phones and they're catching fish and they're posting them. I mean, I mean, how many times have you seen guys out there that are having a great time and it's a selfie with a fish? And but you got to hold that fish really far away so it looks so it bigger. So it looks huge, exactly. Well, it's the old it's the old angler piece and like, how big was this fish? Well, it was this, this big. That's right. It was this big. Yeah. So you started in a garage, and I I noted one of the uh, things that I've really appreciated about a company like yours. Yes, sir. I think one of your favorite quotes is "Aim small, miss small." I oh, love that quote. Love it. Love it. Love That's it. from the Patriot. Yes, sir. And and, and how Enjoy right it is. I mean, as a U.S. Adventure. manufacturer here in the states, um, we do. We will never be the largest manufacturer. That's not where our sights are set. And that adage of "aim small, miss small," it matters because when you only have a select pathway, right? You've got a left border or a right border, and you maintain your true course. So you aim small, miss small, and you set your vision as a company to say, look, we're going to support the American angler out there, and we're going to put the absolute heart, soul, and the absolute best produced fishing rod in their hands that we possibly can. Um, that's fantastic from a product line and from a manufacturing sense, but it's the little things that count. You know, the, the employee that you're supporting, right? We come out and we have the opportunity to support the trade shows and the consumers, Renfro Productions, right? Any outdoors and you guys, the great anglers that are out there fishing the products. Um, but it's kind of a, a mentality with life, to be honest with you, is that aim small, miss small, is that uh, it matters. It matters in everything that you do. So as you are growing this company back from 2007, started in a garage a very simple we can do this better right i don't I, I don't want to put words in your mouth but i bet you wouldn't change all of those struggles that you've gone through no. because okay. who knows every Chicken skin you know every skin or every 
thing that you've had to go through and struggle right. has led to where you are today. It is, and, and it's it's interesting. It's it, it's an American journey. It, it really, truly is. And, and tight you know, shot on his sleeve of the American flag. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And and it really is. I mean. This nation is built on ideals and principles. Uh, it's built on folks being able to challenge themselves, challenge their dreams, and quite honestly, there's good days and bad days. You know, there's some days you're like, wow, I can't believe we're doing this. This is so cool. And then there's days you're like, oh my gosh, I just want this day to be over. But that's the challenge that we're approached with individually. And I tell you what, you're absolutely right, Brian. I wouldn't change anything because you've got to learn. You've got to have the bruises and the scrapes and the knocks. I mean, I'm just healing up now from four quarter productions. You know, it'll beat you up. Um, but I wouldn't change it. And you learn a lot. And there's there's a lot of thanks that has to be given in the industry because nobody, no company, no individual, no founder, no employee, it doesn't matter. Nobody can do it by themselves. And early on we realized is that, hey, look, when, when you need help, you raise your right hand and say, hey, I need help. And you do that before your head goes underwater, right? I, I bet a lot of that passion that I hear coming out in your engineering background and your proud American made comes from your time spent at the Naval Academy and, yes, sir. and in the Navy. Yes, sir. And uh, you know, the I, I guess I was... Uh, I hear a lot of mili military terms correct. and how you've organized your correct. thoughts and process in your company. And, and it is, it, it's what I would term, you know, uh, systematic, methodical. And I really learned some of that structure basis, having the opportunity to have, have attended the academy, class of 96, go 96. <laughs> um, so, but, uh, but that said is that it, it really is, it's a very structured lifestyle and having the opportunity to go out there and get a college education, uh, you know, the tax part, they supported that. And, and I was, I, I've recently retired, retired back in 2016, flew helicopters with the Navy, and uh, I loved it. I would go back and do it in a heartbeat. Now wait a minute, just, would you would you go back and give up making custom fishing rods? <laughs> and if I could go back in time 18 years, I'd go back and I'd be flying helicopters. But let me tell well, you God what. God love you, it, thank it, you for your it, service. It, you're very welcome, and, and, and thanks for the opportunity that, that I had, because I got a, an education, a world-class education. I got to serve my country, and I served with some amazing, amazing Coast Guardsmen, Airmen, Marines, soldiers, sailors are out there, you know, your, your civilians that are supporting, and, and that comes back to that aim small, miss small. And I would be remiss without saying thank you as many times as I possibly can, because for our service members, for our first responders, okay, and I call everybody else in our community, the team, you know, when I deploy and our, our troops deploy, what's the first thing that happens, man? The washer machine breaks, right? The dogs get sick. The kids get sick. Technology here in the uh, studio right. goes haywire right before we go live. Hey, exactly. You know, and, and who fixes that? Everybody. Brent it's, Wheat. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's one team. You know, it's one team, yep. one fight. And it takes a community. It really does yep. to support the nation in the industry, in the sport fishing industry, Brian. Yep. It is strong, strong, strong you, today. You jumped in with a lot of competition, and mm -hmm. we're visiting with Jason Yerger and Cajun Custom Rods. Yes, sir. Dot com. You're over in Tackle Town. Yes, sir. And you'll be here all weekend. You're over there with a bunch of other uh, Cajun folks uh, in the Cajun Alley, so to speak. Exactly. And uh, we're so thrilled that you're here. And, I just want to leave people with this because when I hear the term custom anything, I hear money, I hear expensive, right. I hear, ah, I can just go buy a rod. Mm -hmm. But what I'm hearing you say is that doesn't have to be that way. And it, I, even, right, right. even if I'm a, a novice angler, mm -hmm. I, I can get a custom rod. Correct. And, and, and I look at the aspect of the Cajun rods that are out there. Everybody will, will come across and say, well, what's the best rod you have? What's your middle grade? What's your low grade? We don't approach our product line from that perspective. We put custom tuning into every rod. Each one of these rods that we produce, okay? I mean, 
it is most assuredly handcrafted, handmade from scratch. But we've grown from the one rod, one consumer to small batch production, maintaining a very high quality control. And it's that customization of what the vast majority of the anglers out there want to fish because we have to listen to them. And that price point you mentioned, you know, the price point, it doesn't have to be hundreds and hundreds of dollars out there. It doesn't need to be. It just needs to have the angler's confidence. And, and that's what we tell folks. Be confident in your equipment and what you're fishing, you know, and if we can help you be more confident, You'll That's give awesome. more fish free rides. That's right. You know, since and, and, 2007. Yeah. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And and it, it's the customization early on that has helped grow us, and it's that level of fidelity in our production, and it's that quality control. And to be quite honest with you, as we've said before, is it it's your people. You can't do it alone. And it's how hard the folks work to be sure it's right. Well, you're very passionate. As a matter of yes, fact, I, if you're taking applications, I'm, you've got me so excited, I might want to start building fishing rods. Well, come on uh, down to Jacksonville. Come, come on down to Jacksonville. We'll, we'll, we'll give you Custom, a, a, or Cajun a Custom Rods.com. Jason Yerger, yes, you're over there in Tackle Town. We're so thrilled. Thank you for your service. Thank you for bringing this to the Hoosiers up here. Yep. We don't have a lot of saltwater fishing going on here. Right, right. We don't have any saltwater fishing going on here, but I imagine you're getting a lot of questions and a lot of good interaction right. about these custom rods. Thank you so much for being here with Brian, us over on Boat Sport and Travel Show TV. Awesome. Brian, thank you so much. Any outdoors and for Info Production, it has been truly a blessing. Thank you guys, and we sure appreciate the opportunity. Next year we want a crab fun. boil. Hey, I tell you what, we'll bring the Zatarans and the Chatcheries, <laughs> and we'll get it on, boys. We might even have some John Vallon stuff going on in there. <laughs> now, now we're talking. It's so nice to it. have you here awesome. with us. Good Thank to be with you. Thank you guys for having us. My pleasure. Us. Yes, sir. Find your outdoor adventure at the Ford 64th Annual Indianapolis Boat Sporting Travel Show. February 16th through the 25th at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. Over 700,000 square feet of the latest boats, RVs, Tackletown USA, plus travel destinations from across North America and much more. The Ford 64th Annual Indianapolis Boat Sporting Travel Show. Don't miss the 21st Annual Indiana Deer, Turkey, and Waterfowl Expo during the final four days of the sports show. One ticket gets you into both shows.